Hello guys, I'm back here again to step on for from where we left last time. Remember we downloaded the captive portals from the GitHub. We looked at it, we installed it on our Pineapple Mark 7 using FileZilla. Then we modified an existing one and we uploaded it, retried it and this was the end result but i promise you to go a little bit deeper into the editing of the files and there's a good reason for that because if you look at what we see right here this is a copy from my ipad uh, just to show you the scaling was also working right on an ipad well this might say free wi-fi and it might call the name of the hotel the user does not really see intuitively what he what he has to do so let's make this just a little bit better and yeah, because they might be tempted to fill in their email and password and they say accept and connect but yeah i feel like more let's prompt the user to create a free wi-fi and I can't speak very loud because I'm in the hotel and the people, guests are living next door. So <laughs> that's why my voice is a little bit down. Um, so first thing first, let's jump into our portal. Let's, uh, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi just to make sure everything is original to show you guys see it uh, jumped directly into my redirect and this is our current one current one running on the pineapple and as you can see people are coming in and coming out but as you can see also they come in and they disconnect quite often But my has to do that our page is not very attractive at the moment. So let's find our folder. That's this one. And remember, we said we have to go into the index. So let's compare the picture to what we want to improve. So remember, this this one was the one I've originated from <clears throat> and this was the one that they were that the hotel uses so welcome to guest Wi-Fi it's actually a nice fr nice phrase welcome to guest Wi-Fi so open the index PHP the one that was In our in here, the index PHP. Open that with your favorite editing tool. I use Notepad Plus Plus. Let's see if I can pop up the, the other picture. So welcome to Guest Wi-Fi, and my says free Wi-Fi, which is kind of nice. Well, let's say guest and then connect to Wi-Fi very basic oh, no, notice by the way in the in the top it says collection that's because the Wi-Fi they have they have multiple Wi-Fi's they have the this is mine this is my fake one but they have the guest one and the collection one and then they have a bunch more they have a another guest written in Dutch and they have this one and it's just a mess the, the hotel management they need to look into their way of providing Wi-Fi to the guest but, but anyways um, I'm making a mess here myself 
But anyways, if you, you look into, uh, I agree to the acceptance terms, they have that, I agree to the terms, uh, that's kind of what we do. I feel actually our, our ours is a little bit better than the one they have. But let's make it more consistent. So they say accept and connect, accept and connect, that's both the same. That would work if we didn't ask for an email and a password. Let's search for the phrase connect. Now, I'm not an expert in HTML. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm just replacing stuff here, guys. It's basically, that's what it is. So let's say create and connect because remember we're asking the user here for to leave their credentials and where we're asking for people's email and password and i'm guessing they're going to use their default email because most people only have one email especially hotel guests we're not talking about special nerds here or we're, we're guessing the 60 percent of people that come here that full will fall for this by the way just for your information when i walked into this room i looked for any clue on which wi-fi i needed to connect this hotel doesn't have anything there's no sticker on the wall that tells you this is your wi-fi this is your password none of that and I didn't find it throughout the whole hotel. It's not even on their website. So I, f I even phoned reception and they said, uh, just pick the, the one uh, that's unprotected. So that's, uh, that's where we are. So this is a good ho hotel for a captive portal, guys. So um, in the top, we have this one. And what I'd like to do is let's copy and paste this whole line. And paste it in here and let's say create your free account Oops, sorry so there's going to be a, a, an extra line here create your free account that invites the user to leave all their details so, by the way, if you want to modify how this text looks, this is gray, this one, and that's because it refers to friends text. And remember, if we go into our folder, in the CHS folder, you go into style, all you have to do is search, and there we go. So the friend text, text center, friend text. So yeah, you could technically, I have no clue what I'm doing here. I guess if I, if I put a one behind it, I copy this block and I put a two behind it and I save this. I can even go crazy on having different kind of colors. Then of course I need to modify this color. By the way, if you want to know what what kind of color that is, you do need internet. So let's not pick the ultra fast because we know it's not. All you have to do is do this and you should be able to get well, we got one bar Wi-Fi. See, that's the, where the gray comes from. So if you want green, all you have to do is copy-paste this hex code and you got green. Remember, the hotel uses this ugly kind of goldish, goldish color in their logo. Let's see on here. We could even put some text in there in their color, but but let's, by, and all, all you need to do here is replace it and it would work. So I'm going to delete this. 
and in here I'm going to also delete it. If it needs modification, we'll see. Now, what I do miss as an advanced user, my suspicion would be raised because there's no login button. Let's say I already have an account. Because I'm a technical guy, I might be going to think, hey, what if they uh, use my MAC address and they know I don't have an account because they've never seen me or something like that. Then even still, I would expect to have a login button or some, some kind. So do not raise suspicion of the uh, high technical people under, under us. So let's copy paste this. we're going this is the fourth line so again we're going to copy this we go back to our style ah, of course it cannot find the four because I just added the four the only thing we need to do is Look for the tree. There we go. And now it has unique properties. So all we did is we added, we copy paste number three, we copied in here, made it a four, and now this piece will bring us to that the only thing left to do is i do think we're gonna need this piece of code i have no clue what i'm doing but since all the other ones above it have the a i'm guessing this one also needs an a let's see otherwise i think the whole line is gonna be green already have an account click here although that's not gonna do anything it's gonna it's gonna do it's gonna be static but because my eye would have spot hey already have an account which I know I don't have it would make me feel like hey this page is valid okay so before we're gonna go into something else let's let's see what we got so we close this we're gonna have to go into our management wi-fi again my apple is still not finished guys so sorry for that see this is the original page because we haven't uploaded it yet. I'm SSHing back into my I'm refreshing just to make sure and I'm gonna upload this and overwrite the entire folder. There we go. Now let's go. Maybe it works by just refreshing this, which it did. See, so now we made it like, guess what, if I create your free account, the button now says create and connect, which matches the request for the user to leave their credentials. And in the bottom, we have already have an account. Click here. Uh, by the way, this color is not having a match in my style sheet so I made a mistake somewhere because if it did catch within this block we would have had the same color terms text 4 
not sure if I'm able to fix this because like I said I have no clue what I'm doing yeah we gave it a unique name well you guys know why why this is wrong I could it be that my assumption to leave the A in there made a mistake we can quickly upload this refresh this ah see so we do need the A because it's it catch code now but Let's paste it in here. Guys, this is also a free HTML lesson from Noob, by Noob, for Noob, whatever Noob you are. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to click that. Mm, save it. FileZilla, if you use the close and disconnect, you won't get into the nasty error that tells you you can't. No, that was also wrong, but anyways, just, just, just to show you this terms and service, this is actually working. And I click here, just see, it does this, it's, it's broken. We don't care about that, it's just... I liked it better when the A was in the back. All right, um, that might have been the case that this line needed to close the A. Let's give it one more try and if it doesn't work, guys, it's up to you. You can tell me in the comments what, I've, what I'm doing wrong. It's like I said, I have no clue what I'm doing and just figured it out by trial and error. And I guess I figured out how to fix my text in here. Need help? That's a phone number. You can click on it. Does nothing. And because the behavior is copy pasted to the bottom line, already have an account. So this, yeah. So let's see it one more time. And there we have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again. Leave a comment behind if you want to see more or if you have good tips for me. And uh, enjoy your evening, guys. Bye-bye.